Now, as you know, I've been lucky enough to be custom fit on numerous occasions over the last few years, but just lately, I've wondered if, in fact, I am doing it all wrong. You see, one significant thing of custom fit is swing speed which as we know will play a huge part in shaft choice which is ultimately a major part of the custom fit process in fact it's often referred to as the club's engine and talking of engines how do you gauge your car's performance is it based on when it's doing 100 mile an hour or perhaps a more realistic 70 mile an hour so here's my problem each time i get custom fit i literally try and hit the ball at full tilt which is perhaps not what i do when i get out on the fairway much like i don't drive my car very often at 100 mile an hour so in today's video it is very very simple i'm going to get custom fit again but this time i'm going to try and swing my club Club like I do out there on the fairways and hopefully see a difference in the results in terms of my own performance and perhaps what I end up with in terms of shaft choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How are we doing? Hey, good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, good. You all right? Good? Yeah. yeah. Right, more like your normal swing speed too. You're not jumping at it no. as much. You try that again? Of course. Good. It's, it's probably in a row. It's great balls. Okay. I like the ball flight. Yeah. Right, so just before I arrived at the range, I've explained to my viewers what I'm looking to try and do in uh, in this year's custom fit. And that is basically, I feel as though there's two things really. I think I've maybe slowed a little in terms of my swing speed over the last year or so, maybe getting a little older. Yeah. And the second thing is, and I think maybe a lot of people make the mistake, is that when you go to a, a custom fit, Particularly with driver, I think everyone's sort of chasing a number, absolutely. trying to impress the custom fit. So look, this is how far I can hit the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Swinging, the first thing they do is run over and look at their numbers, see yeah. how fast their swing speed was or how exactly. far it went. Exactly. So I want to try and not do that okay. and replicate my sort of on-course swing because, like I said, I, I think, and it would always be an interesting video again, really, is to see what your numbers are when you've got a wide open range uh -huh. and then what your swing speed is stood on a tee box where you've got out of bounds and trees and all the rest of it because it might be a bit different absolutely so if you can bear that in mind and help me out in that respect in terms of the shaft and uh, see where we go eh? absolutely based on what we did last year we'll definitely try some things that'll uh, incorporate to what you're talking about perfect yeah what are we doing going driver yeah yes we're gonna start on the uh, av blue Okay. AV, so the AV is going to be very, very similar weight-wise to that uh, Diamante we did last year. Okay. And then we'll go into a couple of those lighter ones and yeah, see sure. what we get. Okay. No, you want to do a couple more? Just kind of get no. feel, uh, it feels, no. I feel like the light ones, you just start to get out of control. Absolutely, It gets yeah. to be That's too it, light. Yeah. It gets to be too light. Yep. Right, so quick update for you as to where we're at right now is I'm probably doing exactly what I didn't want to do and what I said I was trying not to and that swing too fast. The numbers in terms of club head speed at the moment um, is kind of, I'm swinging around 90 to 100 mile an hour. That's way too quick for me. Nothing like what I think I swing it like out on the course. So time for a quick drink and hopefully just slow things down because clearly I'm doing exactly what uh, I hope not and that's trying to hit it as far as I possibly can. Now here's back to the VR shaft, the one that's worked pretty well. We're just gonna change the head now. So this is gonna be the um, 0311 head as opposed to the XF. The XF is gonna drain a little more spin, a little more draw bias head, which isn't bad for you. We didn't see it, it didn't over spin on us at all. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to see what would happen now with this when we do hit that little cut, if it can keep it sub 25. Okay. Oh, good swing. It's better. Oh yeah, big bounce too. I mean, Yes. Not a bad ball. Not a bad ball at all. I think that's like where you just said about hitting down and it I basically changed the kind of oh, or, yeah. Look what happens. Yeah. Very good. How'd it feel? Well, that was much more like I made a conscious decision or change rather to hit it very much on the And see on the it's right, more like your normal swing speed too. You're not jumping at it no. as much. You try that again? Of course. I'm gonna tweak it just another time or two here as well. Which is different yeah. balls, them, aren't they? It's, it's, but it's a change, you know, take a change what I made, bit. really. From that comment you made, I think should. Oh, look at that, that's sweet. Longest carry of the day now. Yeah. That's the longest ball overall. Yeah. Right, so a bit of an update on where we're at. Um, swing 
slowed down a little bit, which was good to see. Yeah, nice um, and controlled. Swing tip from yourself as well, which has sort of changed. I tried to make a change in sort of the angle of attack, which I think changed things as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then where we were at in terms of, let's go, last year I was in sort of a Diamana stiff 60 gram-ish, was it? Mm -hmm. In the 60 room, yes. Um, we've gone to something now a little bit. So very similar in weight. And yeah. So that's one of the things I wanted to explain is just because it has a six and an S on it doesn't mean that every six and an S is yeah. going to be one in the same. Okay. Kick points change, where the weight's distributed throughout the shaft changes. Um, but the biggest thing is, like we said, that kick point and then that weight distribution. So even though they're both in the 60 realm, this one was a little easier for you to square up and a little softer down. So down at the bottom end. Section. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So where the demand is going to be a little stiffer down at that tip section yeah. compared to what we ended up yeah. in today and how we were hitting it. And the thing I said to you off camera was that I felt so I was kind of working hard with the diamana mm -hmm. whereas again that's just uh, the club heads coming through yes a little bit easier is mm -hmm. that fair exactly with the with the new vr with the new yes, one. it yeah. is turning it is getting through it a little bit easier without you having to work and swing that 100 mile power yeah, yeah. swing you can swing that 96 97 and it still catches yeah. up and squares up for you so numbers i'm not going to go all into data today but basically in terms of numbers there we're sort of 96 mile an hour getting in that 235 240 odd was the longest ball wasn't it carry yeah spin, mm -hmm. carry spin number car keeping in with that sort of two and a half thousand revs so all again my optimum numbers but for me the key is like i like to feel comfortable with the shaft mm -hmm. as well in terms of the whole swinging i'm not grafting at it do you know what i mean yeah. and i think that was the big thing with the what is the shaft that we've got in so there? I'm not really graphite design vr yeah. so okay. the way you were loading it and unloading it is what you're explaining it loaded and unloaded okay. easier for you yes. than the previous shaft that okay. we got into last year right we're moving in the right direction anyway. Things are going good so far. What are we on to next? Uh, we're going to do the fairway wood. So we're going to jump right into something similar in that 65 realm and try our three wood and talk about it from there. And we're in Tensai Blue, which is a shaft that I just tried in. I don't think we filmed the hybrid bit, but uh, it was really successful in terms of the hybrid. So hopefully that carries on into the fairway wood. Right, okay, so my round of golf has finished with these nine holes. I'm back with Mike, who was my custom fitter yesterday. And uh, what I what was great, really, was to go out the following day with the guy who just fit you. And you can have a look at kind of where we ended up in terms of shaft-wise, in terms of the bag setup. And maybe, first of all, what did you think in terms of what, we, what we've ended up with? I felt like the way we had it set up from yesterday was a really good setup for you, especially how we saw it in the weather today and the cold and how you hit them. Um, no, key note was that driver. I mean, the yeah. driver had very little spin on it yeah. from our experience today. Good bouncing bounce forward, um, getting a lot of roll out of it and things yeah. like that too. The, the shaft in my irons remained the same as last year, mm -hmm. but we changed things up, didn't we, in terms of hybrids and then into the driver. So the hybrid shaft was, and the fairways was the Tensai Blue. Tensai Blue, yeah. So for those ones, we were looking to get a little bit higher launch, a little bit more spin to keep it in the air longer. And number one was making sure the descent angle was nice and high, because those yeah. are the ones you're going to hit into a green. Yes. Where we did end up in the driver a little heavier than you were anticipating but it all came down to the numbers yeah. and what worked the best and keeping that spin rate controlled and a little bit lower to get that bounce forward that yeah. we were talking about but, but by the same token whilst the weight was the same again uh, mike mentioned this yesterday weight of shaft was the same kick point was a bit different mm -hmm. and i just think that just helped me a little bit didn't have to work too hard um so i think we got a nice balance between the whole setup and then that bag setup for me uh, the first time I've ever done it, I've mentioned a lot on the channel about sort of quitting on the long irons and swapping out into hybrids. Uh, but for the first time for me personally, I stopped at a six iron, then I went to five hybrid, four hybrid, and then into five wood. And I've got to say, out on the course, we kind of covered all yardages. I had sort of, you know, could play a variety of shots, a lot of flexibility within that bag setup as well. So I like that as well. Absolutely. I mean, everything from the fitting yesterday was 10, 12 or so longer than each other. So it filled every gap all the way up yeah, to, the, yeah. to the driver. But I've never, ever played golf with the custom fitter. And I think, like I said, it was nice for both of us, maybe, that yeah. kind of, you know, what we did yesterday yeah. turned out good. Yeah, just, you know, you never know if there is a couple little tweaks we might need to make. Because like you said, the swing does change on the golf course to yeah. the driving range uh, for most people. But like you said, yesterday you did a really good job of 
keeping your on course swing or trying to keep your on course yeah, yeah. swing throughout the entire fitting, and that uh, helped a lot. And I don't want to tweak anything we did. No, they no, look good today. Really yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Mike, fantastic job. But I think you know, custom fitters in general don't forget it's mega important that if you want to get that bag set up right, then you've got to spend the right time with the right custom fitter and get yourself dialed in. Right. Hopefully this was uh, of some benefit to you. The key message was, for me at least anyway, and I think it might work for you, try and replicate that on-course swing when you do get into that custom fit situation. Any feedback, any comments, then please stick them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you as ever. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's video. And that's just pretty much done. Yes, I can't sir. believe we've got bobble hats on it, Arizona. I've never <laughs> worn one before. But it was uh, pretty damn cold out here. We even saw a little flurry of snow this morning. We, we, we did. <laughs> it's time to go in and get warm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow night.